he's uh, giving commands. All the computing is being done on those uh, those i sevens that are on the robot. Garrett's walking with a crawl game where he uses one leg at a time. All all Seth is doing is giving it forward speed, turning, and uh, lateral speed. Plus, he has some buttons to make it do special things, which you'll see uh, coming up. I think now he's going with a trotting gait, which is diagonal pairs. That's a pacing gait, which is lateral pairs. And you notice that the robot switches between those things. Seth doesn't have to do anything to... Uh, he asks for the new gait, but the robot coordinates uh, that motion. We have all the locomotion parameterized, so you can go with the body low or the body high. And of course, one of the great things about a legged robot is that it's omnidirectional, it can work sideways, it can turn in place. Your spot mini is really quiet. The, straight, the stage is like a drum, so it's noisy up here. I don't know if you can hear it. And it can turn in place. And as I was saying before, the ability of posing the body and having the arm attached to the body really increases the workspace of the arm beyond what the arm by itself can do. So I think uh, uh, Seth's going to turn it into driving mode, right? Where now the robot is being driven, uh, he's just driving the hand and the robot's following along. So he can tell the hand to move left and right or fore and aft, I guess he's going to do. And the body moves in order to accommodate that. Uh, this isn't a panacea. Once you have the body moving around as a slave to the hand, you have to think about a lot of things that you never thought you'd have to worry about. Uh, but I think this is a step in the, in the right direction in terms of using it. We also have some automation. If you open up the hand, if you look there, you'll see there's a little black spot. There's actually a, a camera in there. And uh, we have a little demo where it's going to automatically... Uh, here, Spot, could you give me that uh, can of uh, coconut juice there? Now, Seth's driving it. He's going to take it so it's within uh, camera shot of the can. And then it's going to do a search. And when it finds it, it'll grab it. So he's Seth's not controlling it. And then, uh, you know, he could bring it over to me, but I think he can just put it back. <laughs> it's an empty can, I know, because it's just a problem. There's a lot of things that aren't general yet about the solution. You know, we, that's our table, and it's our can. Uh, it can do other cans, but uh, you know, we're working out some of the uh, performance of those tasks. And here Seth's driving it by hand, telling the arm, driving the hand and getting it to open. So um, Spot's kind of a proud robot, so it likes to show off. Uh, so it's got a few uh, dynamic things that it can do, more dynamic than the others. You'd think that was enough of a show-off game, but it has one more. I don't know if you can see, but it's using diagonal, uh, just two legs at a time. Wow. It should be doing one leg, but he crapped out at the uh, two. And, uh, okay, that's the end of the spot. Last time I showed Spot Mini, someone came up after.